<laughs> You're gonna wear yourself out looking outside like that. Come now. There's nothing you need to see there. I think you'll just end up putting yourself in a bad mood. That wasn't the point of our trip here. <sighs> it's unfortunate that it darkened around this area so soon. It's normally quite nice out here during the summer. The flowers add a lot of color during the day. Why don't I go fetch a few and bring them inside to liven things up a bit? There's more light in here to appreciate them. Well, I think it will brighten up the mood. I'll call for the staff to have the curtains drawn as well, so we don't have to look at how dreadful it is outside. Hmm? I don't think too many people would be happy with this type of scenery. I am no exception. Unfortunately... Actions that may benefit us can result in some unwanted consequences. As much as I enjoy the position I have now, I can't say that I'm too fond of having a shroud of darkness greet me whenever I look out the window. It follows the path of those who oppose me. So, you can thank any dissenters that have decided to make themselves present in the area. That's just how the curse works, I'm afraid. Prosperity only comes to those who have become enlightened. Those who do not share in the correct mindset. What makes a perfect world will curse themselves to bring about ruin wherever they go. Those who dissent will be run out and forced to live in an isolation of their own making. Only once they realize the error of their ways is their curse lifted. I've been more than generous to the people. I could be cruel. Put them out of their misery and rule by fear. But I find that that leads to more dissension and more people like your friends when you all first started out. Heroes have a place in the world where those who are less generous need to be removed from power. But in this world, people are given a choice of happiness or despair. Their own mindset gives them what they desire. It's just unfortunate that we have a few stragglers hanging around the estate that decided to spread their negativity and ruin what is supposed to be a special, once-in-a-lifetime experience. I can guarantee this will be the only one either of us get to experience. I vowed to be your one and only, and you mine. Forced or not, you are a ray of sunshine that cuts through all of this gloominess. I would hate to be spending my days alone, having to be reminded of that darkness without the comfort of seeing you. What's the matter, dear? Don't ever be scared to tell me anything. Honesty pays the way for a long and happy relationship. And that's what I promise to you. Come on, speak up. <laughs> well, I am pleased to inform you that you are not the source of all that gloominess outside. Now, why would I place the curse on you? Behind your back, no less. Especially with our agreement. That would be especially rude. To take away a special wedding gift like that. Your friends and your family will always remain unafflicted by it, so long as we all keep our promises. I can't imagine they would ever oppose me again. Otherwise, they'd lose everything I've given to them. One wrong move and those nice homes, attending staff, and endless meals are gone. But fear isn't how I like to play this game. I build loyalty. You know that friend of yours? The one that had the audacity to confess his love to you? While he was half dead in your arms during our last battle. He sent me so many letters telling me how grateful he is for introducing him to his soulmate. 
These almost refuse to let me pay for their wedding on account of being indebted to me. But I guess he couldn't resist perfection. <laughs> I've thought about killing him so many times since that day. But I didn't want to upset you. Especially when our wedding was supposed to be a happy day. That, and I knew in your defeat, no one could stop me from having you. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you all came to fight me. If you hadn't opposed me, the two of us wouldn't have met, and we wouldn't be where we are now. Fighting back is what made me interested to begin with, among plenty of other things. Well... It was less that I enjoyed you fighting back, and more that it gave me the opportunity to see you. You made me wait so long for this moment, but it's been worth the trouble. It's nice that we were able to get past all those rejections. Being told no so many times gets to you after a while. I don't blame you. Your loyalty to your friends was admirable. I would have questioned it if you had chosen to leave them for me while we were still in opposition. But it didn't hurt to ask and let you know that I was interested. It did give me extra time to prepare, at least. That curse took time to develop, and I wanted to be absolutely certain that I could make the world my own before I asked you again. I had to prove that I could protect and provide for you. And with that kind of power, no one else could possibly compare. <laughs> Maybe your friends' opinions could hold some weight. They're quite convinced. I recall each and every one of them being very enthusiastic regarding our union. Those smiles and tears of joy were too genuine to have come from simple bribery. They care so much for you. A little devious in their plan to protect you, though. Dangling you right in front of me at every encounter. And they defeated me just like that. Quite the star you are of that little group of yours. A shame that you were the only one with power that they could rely on. They're fortunate to have a bleeding heart that's willing to give up a lifetime of happiness just to give them a chance at it. Luckily, they no longer have that kind of leverage over me. Unfortunately, you do. You've got one thing just out of reach that you're too reluctant to give up. I want you to love me. I don't want us to keep playing pretend for the rest of our lives. If it's going to be all fake smiles, like it was at our wedding, then it's going to make things difficult for the both of us. I wanted to wait until you did, so we could have something happy to look back on. But I knew you weren't going to change your mind so easily. And I wasn't going to just let you wander off into someone else's arms. I wanted to keep my regime as one without such needless violence. Not just for me, but for you as well. I don't want you to be afraid of me. <laughs> Developing a curse just to change your mind about me would be such a waste. And I can make it easy for you to love me, though. Just tell me what I can do for that innocent little hero who rejected me to genuinely be told yes. This time. What keeps you from seeing me as your ally? Your friends have found happiness. And prosperity is being given to those that want it. The world is becoming one that you fought for. It doesn't matter how we got there. We both wanted the same thing. And I just found a way to get to it quicker. But then... Am I right to assume that if I had gone about things your way, you would have had no problem saying yes to me? 
What is it that you're interested in, if not the very type of person who would make that sort of decision to take a different route? There's no one else hiding under all this. It's just me. Do you want us to be enemies? Or not? You're in luck, then. I am not your enemy. Do you know who I am? I'm your husband. <laughs> Still hard to believe, but it'll hit you soon enough. Give it a couple of months. Oh, I am well past that point. You've been mine since before I even asked. It was always planned out that way. Nothing was going to stop me. And now we're here, at the best part of any marriage, where we get to have all the fun. <laughs> Come on, you gotta make up for that sad excuse for a kiss I got at the altar. Mm -hmm. How about I show you what I want from you? Mm. I want you to be good and let me kiss you properly, alright? It'll go on for as long as we're both enjoying it. Don't worry. You'll learn to love it. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo. Thank you all for listening to yet another one of my audios. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Creek, Lunar, Finowen, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, and an Adventurer. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me, be a patron or not. It truly does mean the world to me. If you're interested in getting audios earlier and not safe for work extras, be sure to check out my Patreon. It's in my link tree in the pinned comment down below. Again, thank you, thank you so, so much for all that you do. And if you got this far, please comment the word beloved. Thank you so, so much for all that you do for me. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.